Just letting you guys know that we've got a few extra penguin plushies, shirts, and pins available over on Creator Inc. You don't have to worry about a pre-order waiting period this time, but once these items sell out, they're gone for good. So if you happen to miss out before, make sure to grab yours while you still have the chance. Previously on Yakuza 3 Remastered. Hey, Maxim, what's up, dude? Yeah, I'm doing fine. How about you? Yeah? Oh, it's good to hear from you. Yeah. I'm glad we're best buddies now, right? Yeah. All right, I'll see you at the cafeteria. Bye. And now back to Yakuza. Hey, Nico. Yeah? What's that? What's what? Tire drop. Oh! Help! Sticko B. Back with some more Yakuza 3 Remastered. When we last left off, we conquered the ring mostly, at least as far as we could. And good God almighty, was it as bad as I feared it would be. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> Seriously. Nothing like a gauntlet of ever blocking enemies to really make you despise a paddle system. Jesus. I'm so glad that I, I, I believe that you guys said that subsequent games, it's really just this game that does this and subsequent games four and five do not do this they do away with what made this this game's combat so annoying so that's good i'm really glad because oh boy it is rough and i can honestly only imagine how fucking ridiculous of the ammon fight's gonna be i i don't know what i'm gonna do when i get there honestly i've i'm gonna have to find some kind of cheese more than likely it's something some kind of busted ass weapon that does some crazy damage or i don't know i really don't know because the problem is it's not even just the fact that they block so much it's the fact that even your like heat actions themselves just don't do that much damage and your regular attacks don't either so it's just like you're just so nerfed against bosses it's really hard for Kira to feel like super powerful in this game when it's like yeah regular enemies will do like normal damage and beat their ass but bosses are just like it feels like no matter how much I level up, I don't get any stronger against them. But on the bright side, at least uh, the Kamaki Perry exists and Tiger Drop still does some, I mean, compared to everything else, still does some decent damage. Though compared to other games, still not a, not a whole lot. Other games, you could do off like an entire bar of health with a with a successful Tiger Drop. But you guys gave me a few tips. One thing is actually in regards to the True Lotus Fist, and it was something I actually realized when I went back to edit, you actually start building heat when you charge it up but only once you've charged it up all the way so the point is basically once you've gotten past that here you hear that little ding you know that's when you start to build heat otherwise it's just the heat keeps going down that's why i was so confused because I, there was a point too where i was like i seem to have armor like what caused that but i didn't like realize the reason i had armor was because i fully charged it I, I think once it's fully charged i think you can just stand there and charge your heat gauge indefinitely and i don't know if the the enemy can necessarily knock you down maybe they can still grab you but i'm gonna have to experiment with it a bit but okay that definitely makes it a lot better and that that is a more reliable way than you know st staying there and taunting a billion times to build heat at least potentially i kind of thought when it said it because what it said was that it makes you more powerful i kind of thought it meant my damage output but it, it definitely didn't affect that it's basically just that it gives you uh the ability to build heat quickly and also potentially armor after you fully charged it although maybe that armor was already there i, I don't know but anyway last episode uh, a garcia hunter said a curious fish is one of the tournaments gets a phone call haruka uncle cuz i took the money we had at the orphanage and made bets on your fights now we're rich curio wait how'd you know about the underground ring uncle Majima told us he even gave us front row vip seats what looks over to see all the kids in the front row cheering curio on while haruka's ordering a bunch of stuff off the food menu Majma, ain't I the best gear you, John? <laughs> oh my God. This is both a hilarious and also rather wholesome comment. <laughs> There's something kind of cute about magic. All the all the kids from the orphanage cheering Kyrgyz is beating the shit out of these dudes in the arena. Which I mean, he's just waiting for them to attack so he can tiger drop them. Do it again, Uncle Gus! Do it again! I am! Trust me, I am and I will. Because that's the only way to beat these guys within my fucking lifespan. <laughs> but a Garcia Hunter, thank you so much for your hilarious and honestly adorable comment and so that reason you are comment of the day by the way you also you guys actually point out that the game believe it or not on hard they actually block even more than they are now oh my god oh my god oh my god that sounds like hell on earth no wonder you guys don't want me to fucking do it I and mean, even now they're still tanky so it's like they're what they're even tankier and blockier that's just so like like what the hell are they thinking <laughs> 
Uh, apparently, if you turn on to easy, though, they do actually block less, which is actually a possibility. You can actually do that. I don't think I can, unless there's like an option somewhere else or I do it on the main menu and then continue. I, I don't know. It's all right, though. I mean, I'm, I'm getting around it. I'd, I'd prefer not to lower the difficulty, mostly for my own hubris. I cannot allow myself to go down easy. I can't, can I call myself a real gamer? Come on, Nico. Get your shit together. You can do this. Shut up. You're the one who's fucking doing dick to these bosses. That's not my fault, all right? I was just programmed this way. Don't worry. I'm going to get super buff in all the later games. It'll be Yakuza Zero all over again. I'll start beating them down and eating the money and, and getting super beefy. You better fucking cure. I swear to God, all right? Cause I'm getting sick of this shit. But okay, so something that I, I need to do today, and it's something that I've honestly, I honestly kind of forgot about. Some of you guys thought I was putting it off, but I honestly just, I just forgot. It's the fucking hostesses. I need to do those. And the problem is there's actually a hostess that is only unlocked after I've completed all nine of the other hostesses. So I got to get on this shit. And unfortunately, I don't really know like how long I'm going to still be in Kamurocho. Maybe we're going to leave here, here next chapter. So I really kind of need to do it now. So what I'm actually going to do, um, because I did want you guys to at least, at the very least, to see the first couple of events for each of these girls so you can get at least a, a general idea of what their personality is like before we get to their sub stories. I'm going to go and show off those events real quick uh, for all the remaining girls. And then I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to go and grind it out and get through all these girls' stories until their sub stories are unlocked. And then we can see all that. And then I'll unlock the final girl, try to do the same thing. And so we can just be completely and utterly done with this and move on with the main story again. Hopefully this won't be too bad for you guys, but for me, this is definitely gonna be a long day. <laughs> but I do think it's like, I, I just don't feel right about like, just doing it off screen, all of it, and even the beginning, so you guys don't even know what these girls look like. Um, because just, otherwise, it's just completely, it's like, otherwise, it's just like, I have no reason to give a shit about these sub stories. I want to give at least some of a reason, okay? A little, a little something. So let's go see who the remaining girls are real quick, because we may not be in Kamurocho for much longer the way the story is going. I, I just have a feeling at some point we're going to, I mean, the stories we can only do once we've gone back to Okinawa. So clearly we're not going to be here forever. All right, let's continue with Jewel, I think, right? I think I'm like, yeah, I got the two girls from here. One, which was the terrible girl. One was the pretty nice girl with the daughter. Uh, wait, Hiwitana, which was the one I didn't do yet? I think I only did two. I think it was Shiori. Uh, yes, new girl. Oh, you're cute. She should get some arms there too. Damn, <laughs> she looks kind of, she looks kind of fit. Holy, beat the shit out of me. Oh, so we get new customers. Come, come in. Let's have lots of fun today. Okay, you definitely don't seem fucking awful like that one other chick that's good all right that is my bar now all right if anything is above that i think we're gonna be fine i think we'll be okay what am i ordering i don't know uh generally you guys don't seem to give a shit if i get the free one or the takantakan or something this is like seems to be the two that they always are fine with yeah fuck that it's going with a free shit damn it didn't get, i didn't get any hearts for it though uh, whatever all right i want i don't want to spend a billion Get on this chick. I don't know. All right, you know what? Fuck this. I'm using a guide. I'm done guessing this shit. Otherwise, I'm going to be here for eight years. Okay, apparently for this ring, she actually likes Yamazaki, which is 20K. So it actually recommends you just do Kiyasu Green anyway. I mean, I guess like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much that how much that would fill up her bar. It doesn't actually say. But for this one, she apparently likes chocolate. So I, I was going to go for the chicken basket. So yay, cheaper one. <laughs> You love chocolate. Yeah, pour it on me. God, it is unbelievable how many girls are in this game. <laughs> like, seriously, this is nuts. And like, I, I don't know if I would say the girls are necessarily boring either. It's not, it's like they're they're fairly interesting, but god damn, man. Like, after a while, it's like, am I playing even, am I playing an action game anymore? I feel like I'm playing a visual novel with how, how many episodes I could potentially be spending if I, I literally went and showed every one of these scenes. Oh my God, would we be here for 10 episodes? So curious on, do you come to Capri Clips often? You could say that. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, I gotta admit, I don't know much about them myself. I see. <laughs> I see. Oh my God, you did ellipses. I do ellipses. Oh my God, you're the you're the girl for me. I know it. What did that even like about them? Well, we enjoy the conversation. <laughs> I like the. She's, this is the cabaret girl. Mm. So does school. So does school. Is this your part-time job? So 
Yes, yeah, so does Nate. Yes, yeah, so does college student. I'll be graduating soon. Have you decided on a career? Congratulations. Why, why take this kind of job? Oh, congratulations. Fish, congratulations on fishing college. Yeah, thank you. Guess you're a member of society now. Yes, so, honestly, I'm so over, over school by now. Colleges and classes are so boring. Damn it. How about you, Curious Song? What do you do? I mean, as a job? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I don't really hang out with guys like you. I can tell you don't have a normal job. Just look at your clothes. What? Hey, my clothes are great. You should have seen my real estate clothes. Those shit, that shit was hot. They like tiger print on it. It was dope. You're kind of like, uh, you know what I mean. Mm hmm? Oh, a thug? But you don't look like one. Well, damn, this girl is a blunt. Thug isn't too far off. I'm a civil servant. I'm an entrepreneur. Yes, I am a thug. Look at me. Thug isn't too far off. What? Seriously? I don't know. That doesn't exactly fit. You think so? More than some punk. If I had to guess, you're probably a big shot. Oh, okay. Ellipses. Seriously, I swear to God, 90% of his responses to this are just ellipses. Oh, it's already this late? Yeah. Okay, at least these are pretty quick for the first ones. You guys got a little taste. She seems seems nice, but very blunt. I get your card. She's actually kind of cute, at least. I will say some of the girls here have a little bit, a slight uncanny valley. And more to do with the mod, not, not the actual models themselves, obviously, but the actual, like, uh, character models in the game. I like her sundress. It's pretty. Okay. Well, that's the end of, uh, Shine here, or, uh, Jewel. Next one is Shine. Trust me, I hope we get a little closer. Mm. Yeah. All right. Where the hell even is Shine? Is it? Uh, so it's one of these red locations, right? Club Shine. Yeah, down here. Okay. So apparently you, once you've done every other girl, the final girl will show up at Club Shine. And apparently the game doesn't even tell you that it happens. Like you just go there and she's there suddenly, <laughs> which is like, good God. Really? Man, I feel bad for the people who, uh, oh. There's a the Tommy's drivers in here. I should swing by Serena and grab Dante. So, no, shut up. I feel bad for the people who play through the original, like having to do some of this shit. Cause really, without even any question marks to indicate where sub stories start, it's like, good God, man. You're gonna spend half your time just running around the damn city. Just like, just trying to find, okay, are there any more left? Anything left to do? Gonna be here forever. <laughs> I and mean, granted, people probably just use guides, but still. <laughs> Those guys had to come from somewhere. Somebody had to figure it out. Yes, I will be entering. Okay, so we got three girls here. Rin Sasa Sasaba, Kana Momonagi, Momonagi, Ranko Yuzuki. I think you guys did say there was actually another girl here that was the same as, uh, they used the same model from another game. I wonder if I'll be able to figure it out. I think this, I think this girl's name sounds familiar. Let's see her. Uh... Oh my god, it is. Yeah, no, this is her. I remember you. I mean, was she Yakuza Kwame as well? She might have been. Or maybe it was Kwame too. But I definitely recognize her. Looking up, is, apparently it was Kwame too. Or, despite this, she does not appear to recognize Kiryu. Yes. So this be someone new. Hope you'll, you'll like me after today. I'm sure I will once I get to know you. So I gotta do all the girls I come here for. Okay, apparently I should pick orange juice. Thank God. Keep it cheap. Keep it cheap and simple. One of these girls is gonna be like only the most expensive shit, right? One of these girls. Probably not like the last one. Okay, and chocolate as well. Chocolate! Damn, this one gets a whole fucking heart. This is actually one of the best things when you can get girls, like, I can get a full fucking heart from just eating or drinking some food. That really helps speed things along. What a guess in all right, time for the unskippable cutscene. Never get tired of this. Uh, just never. You know, Kiryu-san, you're pretty muscular. You work out, don't you? <laughs> no, I just I just get this way after beating dudes up on a daily basis. Ellipses. Are you from Tokyo? That's right. I knew it. I could just tell you were a Tokyoite. I've been away from Tokyo for a bit myself, though. Why's that? Well, there are just too many people in Tokyo, you know? I was doing the simple life out in the countryside. Country girl! Tokyo could definitely be overwhelming at, at times. Yeah, ever since coming back, I can't... Hey, you know what? Fuck, I'm just giving her southern... She said country, so I'm gonna say get country accent. Yeah, ever since coming back, I can't bear to get on trains. Too many people? Right. Back trains just feel so claustrophobic now. <laughs> country size spoiled me. I think I'm becoming a country girl. Aha! There were no trains where I was staying, and even the bus only stopped three times a day. Real must have been... been out in the boonies then. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was practically nothing out there. He... 
I went to the train station just the other day, but the train was so packed, I couldn't stand. Stand it. I just turned around and went home. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. There were just so many people people on it. Maybe I should just go back to the countryside. Hee <laughs> hee. But I know that trains are like the best way to get around Tokyo. If I can't ride trains, I'm kind of stuck, huh? I was completely fine before I went to the country, too. What if I can ever get used to living in Tokyo again? Uh, it's gonna be tough forever. T tough to overcome. The trains are definitely too crowded. How about getting around by bicycle? Uh, the trains are definitely too crowded. I'm right with there with you. The trains are definitely too crowded. Oh my gosh, right? There's just way too many people. I was fine before I went out to the countryside, but now I just can't stand the thought of being packed shoulder to shoulder with so many people. Now you're making me worry about Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> hey, well, joking about it, just help me a bit. Deal with it a bit. But I can't keep saying things like that. One way or another, I got used to riding them again. <laughs> no way I can survive here without them. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Kira's so awkward. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. Nothing to say. Just staring at you into your soul. By the way, Kira, I want to apologize to you in advance. Why's that? It's just a lot of people tell me I'm kind of an all ball. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. I mean, it's like I'm trying to say weird things. They just slip out. Nice dick, thank you. Wow. Yeah, that seems pretty normal to me. Let's see, what can I use as an example? Okay, so like, you know the stuff that you write in your graduation essay, right? When they ask, like, what, what your treasure is? Well, I wrote down a lot. When my friends saw that, they asked me if, I, if something was troubling me. <laughs> I get high on a lot. People always thought I was a weird kid. But if you ask me, I just wanted to let you know I was weird before you started thinking I was weird. Um, does that make sense? Your friends didn't get it. That's a unique an that's a unique answer. That's not weird. That's clever. Uh, yeah. Let's go with that. That's not weird. That's clever. Really? Yeah. Seriously, it's a brilliant response. Such an open-ended question. Yes. Life. Who doesn't like life? That's my treasure too. Get it, Kiri san I'm the one who's normal. No one's saying I'm weird. Actually, the weird ones. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really understand how amazing life is. I just want to sort that shit up. That's not what... Well, sure. <laughs> okay. It, well, I'm happy that someone understands me. Oh, God, why'd I say this? Happy to help. Uh, oh, I guess our time's up. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, when you're feeling alone, it comes to Kana Mamagi. Okay. We've met before, but it's all right. You don't remember. You're... <laughs> Your brain has been taken out and replaced with the brain of another hostess. <laughs> or another hostess is wearing her skin. Okay. I don't think weird, but love is request me again. Okay, so we got uh blunt girl and weird girl. Next up, yes. Rin Sasaba. Uh so. So a Hawaiian-y looking girl. Kind of exotic with the flowers and stuff. She looks tiny. Oh, the first you face it. Oh, God damn it, I'm scrolling bullshit. In this? I've been to Kansai girls as long as you don't make it, make any lame Takayuki jokes that were cool. Oh, nice to meet you. Wait, did I already have a Kansai girl? Wasn't that the other chick who was I had in uh, Okinawa? Oh, whatever. More con more cosplay girls. Nice to meet you, too. What even classifies as a cosplay girl? Is it just, just someone from that region? Or is it, like, kind of the exotic look? Okay, apparently she likes OJ. Thank you. Thank you for keeping it cheap. Okay, and chicken basket. Yay! All right. Time to go make a sandwich while this plays out. Oh, uh, here's... Here's something you might not like to know. This hostess thing, it's just a part-time gig. Believe it or not, I work in an office during the day. I see. So this is your way of making a quick buck, huh? Pretty much. Only downside is I can't drink, not even a sip. Alcohol gives me these huge migraines. Go figure. Never exactly pegged you for a drinker. Well, good, because I, I ain't one by a long shot. Oh, God damn it. I probably should have heard the Yoshino voice, because look, look at this. God damn it. I'll just kind of keep it on the higher. And the manager here but nearly blows fuse because I don't drink with customers. <laughs> yeah. I bet he does. Let me ask you, Kiryu son. Is it bad that I don't drink on the job? Give me your honest opinion. Uh, I'm surprised you can get away with it. Uh, can you really not drink at all? As long as I can drink, then no problem. Uh, surprised you can get away with it? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> God, so like, how the fuck are we just a, like, God damn, this just such a fucking crapshoot sometimes. Guess I have it pretty easy here, huh? Yeah, maybe so. Don't go trying to convince me either. I ain't a drinking drop, drinking a drop. 
Evie got down, your hands and knees are back. But don't you worry, I'm I make up from alcohol abstinence by charm and good looks, gracious humor, and love of personality, don't you think? Yeah, suppose so. We just met. Rocky right, son, hear me wait on this one. I know I work at a place like this and all, but I can't stand dealing with old dudes. They just need to kick the bucket already. You need to demon die. Really don't like older men, huh? Not at all. They make you want to vomit up the contents of my stomach and then some. <laughs> hey, I'm getting up there. Come on. We all get old eventually. It's sitting next to him makes, gives me the creeps. <laughs> oh, but don't worry, son. You're in the safe son. But only barely. Barely. Ah. Damn, damn. Ow. Same for younger men. Uh, and just being nice to me. You're pretty blunt, you know? <laughs> oh, God. This is... God damn it. I, I absolutely have to use the guy with this chick. Seriously. Sometimes it's like really obvious what you gotta pick. This chick is like, I don't know what the fuck you want. Okay. Apparently you're pretty blunt. Yes. Yeah, so this is like the be an ass, be an ass and leave. Let's just be straight with her. God, I thought the other chick was blunt. This chick's also blunt. You're pretty blunt, you know? Darn straight. I ain't made of sugar, so I'm sugar the truth. My style's to spice things up instead. <laughs> this is what the people around me say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard insane animation there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just don't slap me in the face when you're clapping like that. Ain't the house supposed to be, though? I mean, sure. You can butter up people all you want, but that's going to end up biting both parts in the butt, right? I suppose that's some merit to it. <laughs> yeah, Kira just rolls with everything. So you agree? Then looks like we'll get along just fine. Good. I was hoping we get along. Uh, Run too late, are we? I don't think so, but it's not. This is going to be that time. It's time to mosey. Okay. I say it went pretty well, don't you think? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Just give me your card. Still pretty cute, though. I do like the flowers. All right. Yes, go ahead and just... Oh, my God. By the end... So we're starting off... I got, like, a bit over a million yen. We're going to see how, how much money I've got by the end of all of these. Once I come back to you guys after grinding it out with all of these chicks. Giggity, giggity, goo. Yes. Thank you for requesting me today. I love you. Okay. I like I request these girls and I've never heard of them before. Yes, I request this person that was brought up. <laughs> I, I've requested literally every girl at this club. Okay, Renko Yuzuki, the final girl currently. Renko, Rank. Uh, ooh, kind of a reddish head. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Renko Yuzuki. Yeah. Oh, damn, she got a rose tat. Damn. I'm Reiko Yuzuki. Super stoked to meet you. So, like, want to order something? Is this like a dude bro or something? Totally stoked to meet you, bro. Okay, apparently, Tan Takatan. So, the other one that people like. I'll take this. And then, wow, vegetable sticks. This is a new one. Is this vegan girl? I want you guys to remember, I'm going to have to watch this right here about like 30 billion times. Before you next see me. All right, wish me luck. Like, I literally can't do anything to speed it up. Nothing. I just gotta sit here and watch it. How drunk are you, Kiryu? Oh, wait, actually, I think I just realized I don't think I get any drunker from any of these 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 moments. Where, oh, wait, do I? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna stop me. Drinking, eating, and smoking a cig. Seriously, I must go through like 80 cigarettes a day. Hey, Kishan, do you like go out to these kind of clubs often? Yeah, I'd say I do. Really? I just started working here, so like, I'm still kind of confused about how it all works. I mean, I never thought I'd be working in a place like this, you know? Well, I'd check the job then. Well, I feel like I've seen have some like at least three girls who said this to me. Why else? I need the money, duh. Just for the money? Yeah, and also I did belly dancing, so there's that too. Damn. Cool. Me too. <laughs> belly dancing. What's that like? It's a dance. It's like about twisting and shaking your hips and butt. Shaking your butt. Damn. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, Kisa, look at your face. It's priceless. Yeah, is it now? Well, anyway, I'm pretty good belly dancer. I want to go pro someday. Pro belly. Oh, yeah? I want to go study abroad in Istanbul. Especially where all the good belly dancers come from, after all. So that's why you're here. Yep. Anyway, so I was thinking about going, going out to the birthplace of belly dance to do some intense training. So here I am. How do you become the best belly dancer ever? Like, what is the quality qualifications for being the best belly dancer. You just gotta shake that ass like super fast. Like, isn't that just kind of the most of it? I mean, I, there's definitely some like movement of the legs and stuff, but it's just like, it is. It's just kind of like, it's just shaking that booty. But then again, I guess you probably say the same thing for a lot of dance. I don't know. I, when I started to think of like other dances that really require like 
insane fitness level in terms of just being able to like do fucking flips and shit like the break dancers i'm like jesus christ you guys are nuts uh hopefully you make the trip there soon i don't know much about dancing that's incredible uh hopefully you can make the trip there soon hopefully you can make the trip there soon yeah but like sometimes i worry about it like can i really survive over there on my own i mean i'm just kind of chilling over here not taking things too seriously you know bro so yeah dude i see Plus, I'll be so far from my friends over there. That's kind of holding me back from going, too. Leaving your comfort zone is never easy. Uh, I totally get that. <laughs> Believe me, I've been in this situation plenty of times. So, curious, son, what do you do for, like, fun? Beat dudes up. <laughs> try, try, try drink? Oh, uh, but guys, this is cool just now. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> I said with a question mark. I think I said the, I said the opposite of cool. Drink? <laughs> Definitely not surprised to hear you say that, curious, son. It's basically the same as me, too. You like drink, too, then? Yeah, I love get drunk. Fuck. <laughs> Such a cheap date, but I don't care. Sounds like a good way of a boy, though. How so? As long as you're not um, as obnoxious as the other chick was. Oh my gosh, excuse son. You can't just ask me that. Such an embarrassing story. Hey, yeah, if you say so. So anyway, how are you? <laughs> I feel like he says another lie. He says a lot. If you say so. <laughs> how are you the born after you get, you drink a ton? Do you get all the press or are you totally fine? I'm usually fine. Sometimes I have a hard time getting up. Morning, try afternoon. Uh, it's gotta be that. Morning, try afternoon. I'm dead of the world until then. Uh, seriously? Oh my gosh, you like it blackout drunk? I mean, I wouldn't say I've never blacked out. Like, is this so funny when you're so drunk? You have no idea what's going on, dude, bro. Okay, this is definitely the spacey girl. <laughs> the dude bro spacey girl. Sh sure. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like he's really just saying this shit. Like, none of this shit is true to Kiri at all. He's just saying it to just to get some. <laughs> Kiri just wants to get some. Oh, let's see. Get black. I drink you, son. Yeah, we'll see. Huh, if you say so. Oh, we're totally out of time. Yeah. Okay. The final card for now. And now, let the grind begin. <laughs> that was so much fun. All right. Well... What message do we end this with? Renko here. Thanks for requesting me. I want to learn more about you, kiss somebody. Love you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here and spend some time fishing these girls up and getting to their sub stories. See you guys in 800 years. All right. I did it. And in record time. Oh, my God. I, feel, I already feel older and wiser after all that. But okay. So I finished off the four girls. They're ready for their sub stories. We're only gonna go one at a time though, just like all the other times. So first off, we're doing uh, the one I gave the lighter Southern accent, which was Rin. Uh, yeah, so her ex-boyfriend who's been stalking her, uh, basically like has gotten her into some shit and now he's going to be a scumbag somewhere. Uh, apparently something's going for a drink over in the champion district. Like apparently she got like arrested for like fraud or something like, like, he set her up, and he's like, yeah, I'd like to see that bitch try to get out of this shit. So, and now he's run off somewhere. And now I must go defend her honor and then make sweet love to her. Seriously, though, Kiri gets so much action in this game. God damn. And I, and I don't mean the fucking battle kind, all right? He's always gotten plenty of that. No, man. He's getting a lot of that fucking sweet. Woo, damn, baby, yeah. <laughs> Just out here waiting for me. Hey, what's up? Huh, what, what the? Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this guy? Hey, he's the dude who keeps popping up with Rit. I'll get straight to the point. Rin's been charged with embezzlement. Don't you guys know anything about that? <laughs> Psst, you really got hard for her, huh? What a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's got by the balls, all right? Looks like he's her latest victim. I'll say a tramp goes through men like she goes through cheap shoes. Pick him up at random and wears him, wears him out quick with that nasty attitude of hers. And when she goes tired playing a little game, she tosses the poor sap no matter how serious they think it is. You know, it's it's funny, actually. I think out of all the girls, it's actually, this girl's probably one of the better ones. Some of these girls, uh, like the girl over, uh, the last girl over in Jewel, she, she Ori, like she was quite spoiled, but I mean, she had some redeeming factors, but she was still like, I don't know. It just reminded me a little too much of the other girl that was like terrible, but unlike her, you're like I said, she has a few redeeming factors, but she's just like a bit too spoiled for my taste. And it was kind of like, eh. and one of the other girls here at the, at uh, this one too it's not this chick it's one of the other ones was kind of that way too when she goes tired of playing her game stop support sam how serious thing it is i mean look at you, you think she's pretty into you right well it'll just meet the same face every other guy she's burnt so your only takeaway from the relationship you had maybe you decided to man up and say shift the blame on her rim would have given you another chance bitch what'd you just say 
What's wrong? Struck a right. nerve. Wow, you really are deluded, are you? Throwing money at the skank and running your mouth like that. That's some primetime comedy, man. Come on, Takashita. Let's be some sense to this dickwad. Did you say Takashita? Well, you get a problem with my name? Gonna make, gonna make more take a shit jokes? That's how I'm murdering this guy. <laughs> I don't even remember that. I don't, what the connection is exactly. Sorry, I kind of ass blasted through some of this shit. Might miss some of the finer details. By the way, I'm down to now <laughs> just shy of 700,000 yen. Spent well over 300,000 yen on these ladies. Good God. Uh, uh, so pissed, all my sweet money. Uh, uh, there's still one more girl I gotta buy and do shit for. You come here. You come the fuck here. Say hi to your friend for me. You too. Uh, bruh. Oh, by the way, I tested out the uh, the true Lotus Fist. Yeah, so you once you've gotten that full charge, you can just sit there and charge it, and enemies cannot knock you out of it. You just have armor. It's um, it's actually kind of cool. Unfortunately, you still do take, I think, like regular damage for hits, and they just can kind of beat the shit out of you while you're doing it, but it is a more reliable way of getting heat, and it doesn't take as long as uh, yada yada, come on. I'm taunting you, dude. Oh, but it does, when enemies do hit you, though, it does cause the heat to go, start go, to, to go back down a bit before going back up again. So it does kind of slow it down. But whatever, I'll take it. Oh, shit, this guy's messing around. Ah, please, no more, it's so bad. Ah. Did you two set Ren up? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Guess you haven't learned your lessons yet. <laughs> no, no, no. We totally have, totally have. See, I'm the one who found the money for my comp company's payroll and risk account. And my, Masei is the one who gave me the account number. I said he was happy to do it. Taxi, you goddamn son of uh, I hate this asshole, fuck. I'm telling you, man, Marin th thinks she's such a smart ass. All she's ever done is make me look incompetent at my job. Someone had to put her in her place. But now, everything I worked so hard for is ruined. Save your lame excuse for the judge. Now I'm gonna give you a choice. Either go turn yourselves into the police, or I can drag you there, bruised and battered. Up to you. <laughs> go walk yourself there. <laughs> no need for the last option. We're just about to leave. <laughs> I fucked my lap. <laughs> I like it. Again, just like, all right, go turn yourself in. I don't feel like animating to, to grab you and pull you down there. Uh, I can't believe my brain dead vegetable of an ex was in cahoots with the Kanaven Takashita. Mm -hmm. It's like, how pathetic can you get? So we're back to normal. Yep, thanks to you, I'm totally in the clear. Nice to know that someone's got my back, and boy, am I glad it's you. But you know, this whole wild fandanglement has taught me it has taught me something. I learned something today. Fandanglement. It's a word I made it up. Anyway, remember what I said a while back? That stuff my mom has been telling me, that I'd have to learn how to struggle, cope with difficulty and all that. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this experience signs up with what she said. But I did figure something out, namely that weird feeling I've been having. Oh? Yeah, you see, I feel like something big's about to happen. Like my perspective on life's about to change. On one hand, there's so much I don't know about the world. Yeah, on the other hand, I have a lot of great opportunities in front of me. I've come a long way. Ellipses. So can you some? I'm saying that all the time we spent together was really helping me grow, and I feel like making use of that time. But fuck it, the daylight's out of you. Well, that just sounds swell. Let's go. That sounds fine and dandy. You don't have to give me any credit. All I did was talk. Maybe sip a few drinks and also murder those two guys that were framing you for embezzlement. Uh, I figured you'd say something like that. <laughs> You're such a humble guy. But that's exactly why I like you. Now, I normally wouldn't do this, but now I'll make an exception. Scott, drink a cutie son. Just the two of us. Will you really be okay drinking alcohol? I can handle a little, and don't worry, the place I have mine is nice, but not so nice we can't get a little loopy if we want to. Uh oh, where is this place? You just have to come and find out, so let me check the, let me get the check real quick and we can bust on out of here. Oh shit, let's get, let's go. Can you some? Yes? I want to show you my appreciation for everything you've done for me. In a way, I think you'll appreciate. Hope you're ready for the time of your life. Yes, look how happy Kiryu is. Girls touch me, but I never touch them. <laughs> arms it. Stay, my arms stay down always. And look at this. And then we just copy and paste me over here. And we're done. Okay, so I've heard the rumors about how heated you can get. But now you share some of that heat with me. It feels like I'm burning up inside. Goddamn bro. <laughs> what the hell did I... Did I unload my heat inside of her? Uh, oh, draining my bars. Yeah, drop that level three heat action right on this bitch. Uh, Damn, I like it when you talk dirty to me, Kiryu. you. Hell yeah. I'll show you wrestling, but call what you like. Oh my god. I love how self aware it is. Thanks, Kiryu son. I'll never forget that better, beautiful memories we made. We sure made a lot of something, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, man. I feel like it's 
it's like especially at this point we've gone through so many girls like this shit starts to get a little comical well i feel like the the de developers are aware of this shit of like yep you fucked 10 girls it's just like akira's just acting like yeah we definitely did something didn't we was it sex maybe uh -huh. you can be so clumsy with the words sometimes but at least you're an expert on what really matters because that means i love you kiri son never forget that i uh, know <laughs> i love me too bye all right, who's next to fuck? Oh, uh, oh wait. Oh my gosh, Kirsten, I'm in serious trouble. Can you help me? Is everything okay? What, what ended up happening with you? Uh, she was okay, but she was she's kind of a partier. Um, she was the one with the tattoo on her chest. There was actually a nice there was a nice scene where she mentioned where they like compare the tattoos where like uh, Kiryu said like, oh, I, li I like your ink. I've got some ink myself or something. And they talk about that. I thought that was kind of cool moment. No, it's look, I. I'll oh, soon you get here. I'm in front of the theater right now. Okay. Front of the theater. Where the... Didn't even show up on the map. Weird. Why isn't it on the map? Right. Uh, friend of hers. Okay. Okay, son. Hey, what's going on? Give all money to the study abroad agent. He, like, totally ran off with it. What? Oh, that's for Kyle's chick. Look, look at this chick on the left. I, oh my gosh, she looks so weird. Like, what in the fuck is wrong with her eyes? Like, Jesus. They forgot to touch up a few of these character models in this remaster. What? How? Without that money, we can't go to this temple anymore. All right, to do the belly dancing thing. I'm so sorry, Rick. I'm really, really sorry. So from the beginning. What happened? So I was going to use this one to, one study abroad agent to play our trip, but Mina says she found one who'd do it way, for way cheaper. Red flag already, okay, but keep going. So I canceled our contract with the old one and went over to the new guy, and then, well, me tried to run off with the money we were gonna save from the switch into the new guy. This is true, I have money right here, all two million. Two million, what the fuck? I was gonna spend the money with you, Branko. Would you stop lying in my face, bitch? What happened to the rest of the money we've been saving, saving up forever? Well, it's not like you were gonna actually live in Istanbul. Even if you were, you'd probably just give up and come home with it in a week. What? How can you say that? Well, it's not like you ever asked for my opinion, Rango. And now you get to hear it. You should give up and go to Istanbul and use that money for something way more practical. It's for your own good, bitch. Mina. Look, five this later. Right now, we gotta get our money get our money back, right? Here, son, could you come with me to the agent's office? Of course. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're the best, Kiri son. I'm like Mina, that bitch. This is the place, Kiri son. All right. You're sure about this? Yeah, super sure. Super duper sure. Okay. Give us back our money. Hey, how's it going? Hope you like all my incredibly breakable furniture here. Line up in a row. Sure hope nobody uses it to smash my face in. Huh? Huh? Hold up. Here again. My friend and I gave you 8 million yen for a trip to Istanbul. <laughs> Where the hell's cure you? <laughs> ah, peace out of this one. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't like this scroll enough. Uh, what's this trip to Istanbul you speak of? Oh, now, come on. Don't pretend like you don't know. Uh, miss, we're a publishing company, not travel agent. Agency. I think you got the wrong office. Uh, I'm sorry, but I do, I do have to ask you to leave. You guys are total scam artists. I'm still calling the cops on you. Hold it, pumpkin. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with here? Huh? Hey, how about you keep, how about keep you hold up for a few days put it over proper respect into you? Get you, son! Ah, take open the door. Somebody called my name. <laughs> Give you some! Give you some! Give you some! Ah, ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, ha. It's showtime! Get, get, get you, son! That's right. Hey, how the hell do you know this guy? Gary sounds like a friend of mine, but he's not good. He's got nothing to do with my money. <laughs> Does he know me? If I did, I beat you up at some point. Now give it back. Oh uh, yes, uh, of course. I don't really have a choice now, do I? Ah, ah. Hey, man, you should tell me you were curious, son, girl. I'll get the money ready for you right away. Is cash okay? Oh, what? I don't get to bring your furniture? Oh, but it looks so nice. Oh, damn it. Oh, fuck this. I'm going back in there. We're going to beat him up anyway. <laughs> now, Carrie, why? Why? Your furniture enticed me. I'm sorry. All right. You brought this on yourself. I can't believe this all actually happened. I'm sorry, Q, son. I didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Don't worry about it. I gotta go apologize to Mina. It's my fault that Mina did what she did. It's her fault for, uh, it's my fault for having her steal my money and give it away to this guy. Never thought about how she might feel. I just like plot ahead with things just to get every, get everything all decided. 
He used to be like such good friends. I can understand why you might not get along so well right now. But why don't you try to forgive one another? Huh? Friendship is fragile. It doesn't take much to smash it to pieces. But friendships can come out of those painful experiences, forced together to become stronger than it ever was before. And you know what makes it make a friendship even better? Sex! Let's go get to it! Okay! Carry son. I'm sure your hearts are still connected, like Sora and those other guys. You have a really big heart, Kiri son. Mine's like still really small. I wouldn't say that. I'm still gonna go to Istanbul. There's like so many things I've gotta see and experience and belly dance. Right. Today's gonna be my last day with you. I can't have you but bailing me out of stuff like forever. Yeah, alright. I really like you, Kiri son, so like why don't we make our last Last day, one to remem really remember. Huh? What does that mean? Huh? Well, I'm acting like I've never had sex before. Even though I've had it like six times. Hey, come on. You know what I mean. You're so cute. I might have to like take you with me. Mm, yeah. Ah! Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's just... Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I feel like we're always standing in the exact same spot at the end. Right outside the batting center for some reason. We always like to fuck right there, right there when the balls are about to hit us. I like a little bit of danger in all my, my love making. Wow, Kiri son, you were so amazing back there. Oh my gosh, can't stop smiling about it. Yes, me too. <laughs> that, thanks. <laughs> you were okay as well. You really helped forget about all the bad stuff I'm dealing with right now. I feel like so much better. My dick has that effect on women and men so occasionally. But now I, now I know that I'm going to be okay no matter where I am in the world. I'm going to work my butt off. I know you will. Good luck. Thanks. I'm going to go talk to Mina, okay? Kirisan, thank you so much, really. I could really miss you, but I'm so lucky to have had you in my life. Ah, oh, another like 5,000 experience for doing dick. All right. Who's next? Uh, okay, Shiori. Yeah, so she was, I think she was the one that was like, yeah, this, this is the one I thought was kind of, she's kind of spoiled. I don't know. I wasn't crazy about her. Basically, she had, she, the whole time she's, she's actually dating a guy while, uh, she's working at the club and then she, he dumps her and starts dating, uh, he starts dating one of her friends that we run into at one point. Kirisan, I got, I got fired from the club. Wait, what? My said Joel right now. Can you come get me, Kirisan? Sure. See you soon. Damn. Oh my god. Alright, I still haven't gotten my nudes yet. Oh, sick as- I'm sick as a dog. Just something didn't grow with it. Feels so really sick. Ah, here's my disgusting face. Mmm. And she looks perfect. You just took us out of the club. You're so full of shit. <laughs> uh, I, was I was so sick. I couldn't even go into work today. Look at how, look how ugly it looks. She looks amazing. And <laughs> she's at the club. <laughs> Wait, who was it? I did get one message that was kind of like, what? Uh, was it Shiori? No, it was Ranko. That was the girl we just saw a second ago, uh, before, just before this. <laughs> She's, I'm usually totally naked when I'm at home. I mean, so much more comfortable that way. I'm totally naked right now, too. If we start dating, I'll be definitely get you naked, too. Come by the club and get you. <laughs> Holy fuck. Well, goddamn. All right. Now, this is my kind of girl. <laughs> Where the hell she go? Better find out quick. You know what Nikki's like when he doesn't get what he wants. Shut up, man. You don't think I don't know that? What time to that bitch lesson? Yes, I'm just, I'm getting hard just thinking about it. And I'm just like, wait, what in the fuck? Wow, that was, uh, wow, wow. They're not usually that on the nose about that shit. Oh, damn. Gross, dude. Gross. Look at what the head in your shoulders, idiot. We still gotta find her. On it. What are they talking about Shiori? I didn't bother to stop them and ask. Where do they go? Shiori Stalker. I saw some guys looking for Shiori in front of Jewel. They went over to the theater. Okay. Damn it. What? Ah, oh, Kiri son, I'm sorry. I just started wandering around in front of the theater. I don't. Oh, I, I knew it before she even called me. I don't have to stress. I just feel so tased. Wait, right there, okay? Damn it. Think she got roofied or some shit. All right. Well, while I'm on the way to save her, I better check out some more nudes from my other girlfriends. My last wish is really sucky. Thank you for being there. I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, if you say so. God damn it. Let me alone. All right. Hey, look. Check this shit out. So see, it just builds up and go ahead and beat me, guys. I ain't going to do shit. Even with that sword of yours. Go ahead. Go ahead. I like it. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Ah, oh, I love it. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so that's, that's actually pretty good. The fact that I can armor through everything, yeah, it's pretty dope. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, so dope. Do the kabaki. Do the kabaki. Hey, uh, much about that. Yeah, yes, sir. All right. Got it. Yeah, right away. Ah, oh, come on. Had to be an EQ. Found it first. Oh, yeah? oh shut up. You didn't take your sweet time to swirl around. Around coming. Complain about your boner. We'd have snagged her. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I started talking about it. He's got her behind the drugstore. Let's go. I'm um, gonna enjoy this. What in the fuck, dude? Okay, this one's pretty fucked up, actually. I still stand there and do nothing. Sure, behind the drugstore. God, I sure but I regret letting them run off and get there before me. I'm here. Hey, she and I have somewhere to be tonight, and you're not invited. Give me some help. Who the fuck? You got a death wish ass wipe? Hey, now, let's not get us get ahead of ourselves. You know, Shiori, I don't think you had her requested. Well, it's not like you're the only guy she met there. I've had her plenty of times myself. Anyway, she's out of the club, so it doesn't matter. It's between me and her. Damn right, I'm out. You get blowing up over nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, after all the cash I spent on you, I think I deserve a little return on investment, right? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it out here in the middle of broad daylight where everyone can see me. That sick man. Who wants a creep like you? You're pathetic. Oh, I'm pathetic. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. See, I'm this club's biggest paying customer. Without me, they'd be nothing. Buddy, I don't know how many times you've gone to that club, but let me clue you in. You're out of my, your league. Bitch, you know who I am? I've literally had sex with seven hostesses already in the past 24 hours. Oh, wow, never mind. You're, uh, you're on another level. Yeah, goddamn right I am. And she's number eight. Now get out of my way. You're gonna get in my way. You're gonna find it real hard to enjoy the nightlife in my hospital bed. Cock block when it just getting good. I'm gonna be jazzing the ground with, with, with my cock. <laughs> with my dick. Okay, just calm the fuck down, right? Everyone just calm the fucking shit down. Now, one move that uh, zips me around, I, I think I need four guys to do it. Unlike that move uh, that Yagami gets for crowd control, where he doesn't necessarily need it to be exactly like four guys, just like a three guy version and stuff. This one has to be, I think, exactly four guys. Unfortunately. Ah, damn it. Ow. Hey. That's a no no. Kick. Kick. Eat that fatty. Eat that boner guy. Now you're going to come over here. Oh, his boner touched me. Oh, gross. Oh, he's a fucking monster. This ain't good. Shit. Run for it, boys. Ah, ah my boner hurts. Ah, ah. Oh, my God. Can you believe? Can you believe this, idiots? Can you believe I ended up like this? You must have been scared. I guess all this kind of got away from me, huh? You have to be a little more careful. Yeah. I never thought it would get this bad. Honestly, I only started this job because I wanted some excitement. I was killing time. It didn't really mean anything to me. To really mean anything to me. I was just bored with my life and trying to change that. But then I met you, curious son, and you cared about me more than I thought anyone could ever could. I know I'm... Not the easiest girl to talk to, but then you came along and everything changed. And now... Guess that means this is my fault. Yes. Like 100% your fault. Oh, of course. I was being facetious. Heh. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. I think this is easy for me. Here I'm trying to, to live my life and I can't get you up in my curious son. Damn it. You and your broad shoulders and your beautiful automotive face. So since it's your fault, you gotta fix it, okay? Uh... Don't worry, curious son. You won't figure it all out yourself. I'll tell you exactly what to do. Mmm. All right. Copy and paste me outside the batting cages. Do it. Do it, game. Do it. I want to see it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> this is the place to stand when you have a good... <laughs> After a good lovemaking session. <laughs> that was amazing. Doing it back to back like this is kind of hilarious. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, sh uh, sure. I'm going to try applying to work at Jewel one more time. I don't want to stop seeing you. Plus, extra cash is always nice. Hey, I see. I'm going to head home now. See you around. <laughs> it's also been just awkward, curious. <laughs> yeah, see you. <laughs> see you never. That's good day. Okay, son, I love you. Good for you. <laughs> All right, one more. Uh, carry us on. 
What happened? Help me, please. He's gone. I'm lost. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. I just remembered who you are. Kwame 2, girl, right? Girl, what's been going on? I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, wait. No, I just saw you like 10 minutes ago. Well, whatever. How are you doing? <laughs> That's not that gives up. Who's gone? I took Newton out for a walk, and I ended up going down the road. and never been home before. By the way, so she has a dog named Newton, and she's like crazy about crazy about him. It's like all she talks about. I was walking around lost for a while, right? And then I realized Newton was gone. That's just horrible sense of direction. I should have stuck to places I know. Where are you now? Uh, I have no clue. Did you see any distinct la buildings or structures nearby? Any landmarks? Uh, uh, maybe I'm in a narrow place that's crammed full of stuff. Can you be more specific? Not really. Sorry. Right. Please help me carry you, son. Wait right there. Yeah, this girl's a fucking hippy dippy doo -dah, I tell you what. She also seems like she has, like, severe depression. Because <laughs> there have been moments where she's, like, she'll, like, call you and not come into work at all or something. Like, she just, like, she's like, I just didn't want to get out of bed that day. I was, like, sleeping all day. And I'm like, oh, God. But it's all right. Kira's going to beat that depression right out of her. And her place full of cramped stuff. I'll go check out a few spots like that and see if I can find her. Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on. So just, just. Please just tell me where she is. Don't make me run all the way around this fucking. There's too many places. I punched the club at the, the club and they forgave me. Yay! It's almost like nothing ever happened. I've been the most annoying girl ever. It's nothing but cause you trouble. But what card? Here you go. Here's my, here's my new selfie. Damn. I think that girl's probably actually one of the cutest girls, but unfortunately, I didn't love her personality, honestly. So, let's see. I have all the girls here. I'm not sure exactly who I would say I was like necessarily like my favorite. Maybe the one with the, that was a mom. I don't know. She was relatively nice. Oh my God! There you are. Carry you, son. There you are. I just said that. Carry you. Mm. Noom, she's she's gone. If anything happened to her, if I lost her, I don't think I could go on. Connor, calm down. I totally messed up. I took Noom now for a walk, and then I got lost, and then and then. Don't worry, I'll find her for you. Will? Yeah, just wait here. I'll be back soon. Thank you. Uh, any indication? Oh, oh God! Ah! Hey, hey, I found the dog. I'm just here to tell you where it is. Come back, carry us on. Come back. I don't believe you. I've got to find Kana's dog, Newton. Okay, I literally have no idea. So I'm going to look it up because fuck you. Okay, apparently I got to go to K Kotobuki Drugs. I don't know, may I get a call here or something that tells me where to go? But seriously, oh, God, there's a dude there too. Come on, let me out. Oh, here we go. Have you seen a miniature, uh, Kanichin Dachshund around here? <laughs> Yeah, hey, owning a dog is great, isn't it? But you gotta understand how they feel, you know? Otherwise, you'll never be able to really take care of your dog. This dachshund you're looking for, she have a name tag that says Newton? That's the one. <laughs> hey, hey, kids these days don't know how to take care of their dogs. They think they're the ones that are charmed, but the dog's really the one calling the shots. You know what I mean, don't you? Dogs, well, they just want to be free, like this cute little guy here. Darling, for left for here for a while, uh, left here a little while ago. I see, thanks. Take good care of that dog of yours. She's a miniature, not a cane a caninchin. Okay, whatever. Aw, aw, look at him. Aw, or her. Aw. How the hell was I supposed to know to look over here, though? Seriously. I don't know. Maybe she said where she was walking the dog at the start. I just glossed over it. Murr. Must be Newton. Murr. I'll take a sm one back to Kana. Aw. Uh -huh. Come on, little buddy. Oh, hello, tail going. God, I think I found Newton. Uh, Newton, Newton, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, good doggo. Man, there was a reason I dreamed about Newton after all. Maybe she wanted to tell you something. Yeah, I'm such garbage. I can't even find my way home. But I think I know what Newton was trying to tell me. I should fuck Kiri, son. Yes, absolutely. You're thinking way too much. You just have faith and wait for wait, someone will come and rescue you. Kiri Song, thank you so much. You've done so much for someone as worthless as me. Don't mention this. See, she's kind of like like insanely hard on herself. Like, holy fuck. Like, just a little bit of a doubter, honestly. I was like, go through so I was like, Jesus. This girl seems like she's uh, struggling with some serious problems. No, I'm a little awkward, but I have to let you know how I feel. Really like you, Kiri Song. So, would you make love to me? This feels, this feels extra wrong just because I, I don't think you're in a really good place. To, oh, God, we're disappearing. Never mind. I guess it's not up to me. I guess I'm just going to have to teleport us outside this batting cage. Well, if this spot means anything, that means we did make love. Sorry about that. That just tends to happen sometimes. Garrison, thank you. I'm glad we made love. 
Sure. I think there's something I finally admit to myself. What's that? <laughs> that whenever I get into trouble, you're always the one who has to bail me out. He. Cool. Anyway, back at home, give Newton a banana. <laughs> a banana. Hey, you're still feeding her bananas, huh? Thank you so much for helping me find Newton. I love you, Kiryu san. Kiryu says nothing back. All right. Woo! Just like that. Four more girls done. Leaving us with nine girls completed. Only one left. Finally. And this one should now be unlocked. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I gotta wait for her picture to show up. Actually, I wonder if I won't be able to even start the, uh, the other girl until I get that picture. Well, hopefully it'll arrive on my way of running down there. Ah, fuck you, dude. I'm so sick of beating this dude's face up. Seriously, look at this. I've seen this guy's face so much. So much. So many different outfits, business suits, thug dudes, this weird fucking cardigan he's got on. Like, what the fuck, man? That dumb dude's face. He just screams, I peeked out your mom last night. Arr! This guy's giving me some fucking French cologne. What the shit? Go ahead and equip that for the last girl. Hey, here we go. There's the news. Thank you so much. In fact, I'm, I'm finally re my real honest self. All that I felt up to now is just gone blown away. I'm happy alive. It's not cheesy, but I love you. Oh, like Gary never, Gary never says that I love you back though to any one of these girls. He's just like, yep, yep. Yeah, I think I think it was a mistake for them to put so much, so many girls in this game. Like, again, I don't necessarily think some of them are dull, but it's just like, it's just, it's too much, and it really does kind of like having so many kind of does. I feel like start to weaken the interactions between all the different girls, you know? Because they start to blend together after a while. It's just too many. Is she here? The final one? Yes. Raimi uh, Hanayama. Raimi. All right. What's this girl look like? Holy shit. That is some serious hair. And your eyes look fucking huge. Holy shit. I'm sorry, it's something beautiful. Sure. So, oh, gosh. There's, seriously, it looks like you have, like, another head of hair on top of your existing head of hair. It looks really weird. God damn it, I knew it. So, for this chick, I got the chicken basket, and apparently the cheapest drink that gets hearts for is champagne rose. What is it? Um, sorry. If I'm not mistaken, you carry some, right? What? Yeah, that's me. Have we met before? No, in fact, you probably have no idea who I am, but I'm sure know a lot about you. You only wonder how. <laughs> well, you're like a hero of this town. I'm so happy I could finally meet you in person. I'm probably starting to sound like a stalker. Guess it would help if I help clear things, clear up a few things first. Yeah. Oh. What, because I, I dated all the other girls? You, you heard about that? They meant nothing to me, by the way. No, you're the, the one true girl. Yes, absolutely. So will it be? Rose. So a hundred thousand. This is the wow. I, I knew I somehow knew the last girl was gonna be that way. Yeah, fuck that. I'll stick with Kiatsu Green. And then uh chicken basket, because it's always the fucking chicken basket. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is gonna take a while. I was hoping that somehow she'd just be like, nah, get the cheapest shit will give me a whole one whole heart. See, so those are the ones you can ass blast your way through. The ones that it's like where uh, some cheap drink or food gives them a whole heart. It's like, holy crap. That goes a long way in this. It's kind of surprising. Okay, time to put that in order. Onegasimasu. What even is Kiatsu Green? Some kind of like sparkling water or something? Is it actually an alcohol? It's fucking free. Actually, I, th I think it is. Looking at the bottle, it looks like it is alcohol. Must be some super cheap shit. <laughs> it's like the Japanese version of Natty Light. This place sure has changed. I haven't told you. You used to work here three years ago. So you took a break for a while. Yeah, I decided to work in Roll Pung Guy for a bit. What made you come back? Um, well, because we're in a real tight spot lately, so the owner asked me to. I see. I guess they want me to turn this place around. Though I'm not sure what anyone sees in me. It's hard enough to readjust into a new environment, let alone dealing with all the pressure. Uh, you'll be fine. They must really trust you here. No need to pressure yourself. Uh, they must really trust you here. Yeah, the owner's always been really good to me. Guess there's just a lot of riding on this decision after all. So the fact that you were asked back is a good sign. They obviously see something in you. Hmm, maybe so. Never put my mind to something. I give it everything I have. <laughs> Guess I've put my best foot forward, huh? That's the spirit. The way I am now is like nine day compared to the last time I worked here. What were you like before? Oh, I play the shy, innocent girl. Anytime a customer wanted to drink with me, I'd pretend I was a lightweight. I was pretty naive back then. So she's, she's basically a girl with some experience, right? 
experience in the biz. That's probably it's probably a good one then to have as like the fina the final one, right? It's like an experienced hostess. So it must have been fun to drink with you though. Not really. I hardly knew my left or my right when I came out here. Probably because I was fresh out of Kyoto. Since my personality was so bland, no one ever requested me. Actually, that impact of my performance took a toll on my mental health. I just felt so numb. But then, little did I know that one day everything would change without warning. Wanna know how it happened? I got mud, Kiwi son. In Kamurocho of all places. What do you mean in Kamurocho of all places? This is exactly the place where you get mugged. Go figure. Go figure. So I was minding my own business when all of a sudden, I felt myself go down. Then my purse got yanked away, turns out someone hit me. Happened too fast to notice. The thief, whoever it was, tried to make off with my wallet, but he didn't get very far. He got just down by a paper boy who happened to be nearby. Oh, would you would you not believe how livid I was? I was ready to punch this thieving jerk face in oblivion. And I did. Fucking murdered his ass. So that's what I ended up doing. Knocked a couple of teeth out too. Ew. Oh my god, what? Even the paper boy was impressed. Holy shit. Oh my god, I think I actually did finally find my girl. Here we go. Just said the shit I was joking about. That's my girl right there. Were you scared? Nice going. Don't be so reckless. No, fuck that. Nice going. Nice going. You really went after him, huh? I did. No, just let some crooked like that get away, right? But not me. Heh. <laughs> That's very bold of you. You're the one who inspired me, Kiri-san. If it weren't for you, I never would have had that much courage. What exactly did I do? Uh, just seeing you romp around town with enough, was enough to inspire me. Who wouldn't want to live life to the fullest after witnessing all the butt kicking? Oh my gosh. So she's actually just seeing me going around just kicking ass? Oh yeah, there's also a guy in a yellow helmet too. I like the style. This guy, oh, this guy be mine of a son. So yo, I saw you out there punching, kicking, and repeatedly bashing your problems in the face. Made my troubles seem small in comparison. After that, I was able to shake off all that negativity. I realized I didn't have to be a character to please people. And sure enough, my performance at the club started going up because I was finally able to enjoy it. It's quite a change. Oh well, I didn't ch exactly change per se. I just went back to the way I was before. Rather, the way the way I really am. So I guess in retrospect, this might not have been such a bad thing. It's a good way of looking at it. Anyway, you can say I'm here now all because of you. <laughs> so when I finally sat next to you, my heart started beating out of my control, out of control, for a moment I thought I might pass out. Heh, <laughs> well that's scary. I'm your biggest fan, Kiri son. Look at the time. I was gonna say this actually could be an interesting one. I already like her. Uh, they potentially saved the best for last. I still think her hair looks a little weird, though. Just take that, that bun or whatever off the top of your head, and I think you'd look a lot better. Okay. The last girl. It is time. The time has come, and so has Kiryu like nine times. And now, make it time for a test. Excuse me. Do think you come again, Kiyo-san? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do what I do and uh, get her to ready for her sub-story. So, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, finally, last but not least. So yeah, hers was actually, I think, relatively interesting. I, I think she was, she felt different enough from a lot of the other girls who, after a while, did start to feel kind of similar to each other. Um, she was like the hostess who was basically really capable um, that they brought in to help at the hostess club, who had a uh, a boyfriend that cheated on her, and I believe he was also a business partner of hers. Um, and she just, she's basically a girl that was just like, you know, someone who clearly knows what she's doing, uh, and is very good at what she does. But she also took a lot of inspiration from Curious and run around. And I actually liked that sort of, I don't know, that sort of comparison and that draw, and the fact that she was like, oh yeah, I attribute my success so much to just watch you beat up Deuce in the street, which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, I actually liked hers. I actually thought she was pretty, pretty good. Don't like the hair, but, uh, everything else is pretty, pretty fun. So anyway, she's, uh, apparently been, uh, gypped out of her money or something by, I think her, her partner who cheated on her and it seemed to, like run away. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what, let's see what it says exactly. I uh, got a call from Raimi. Better head over to Yokoi's office on Show Street. So I, I think she's going to go confront him about it. But yeah, it, it's kind of funny. Any of these girls that you you hear having like a boyfriend or a partner, I'm like, oh well, they're gonna they're gonna break up by the time this is over. <laughs> All right, uh, so should be around here somewhere. Uh, oh, student on show of street. You'll call your office. Mm, uh, sorry, I don't know. Maybe you should try Pink Street instead. Tai Chi, Tenkai Chi. Just saying. Got it. Thanks. Pink Street. Uh, that's is that the one to the left? That's Tenkai Chi, Nakamichi. Did I run by it? Maybe it was down the other way, then. I will say, this game in particular really wants you to fucking learn this city. Oh, you? No, I think you're... 
I look for your cars. Yes, trust us, building. It's on the eighth floor. Can't miss it. Got it. Thanks. It's on the eighth floor. The elevator is working. Okay. You'll come as we hold up in here. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to fight my way through waves of dudes. Okay, here goes nothing. That actually be kind of dope for like the last one to just be like suddenly I'm like like breaking into like a Yaksa hideout almost it's like holy shit this is why they made this the final girl you go through just waves and waves of dudes na -na 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 -na. Kuzé comes out get you Kuzé I thought you were a fucking dead guess again Kuzé I can never die oh, da -na -na -na. and then the best song plays in the whole game oh yeah oh. all right let's go on my let's go on my fan fiction later look I've been trying to reason with you here you are pretending like nothing happened. Bam, bam, chill out, okay? I think it's way too personal. So it's gotta be an opportunity. Make the most of those opportunities. Think positive here. Besides, no one wants to buy a cheap ass girly shit that no one's ever heard of. But did you ever listen to me? No, it's been full speed ahead. And now your ship is sunk. So basically, it's like a, some side business that she's been doing alongside her hostess stuff. Because she got just kind of called in to help at this, uh, at this club. Real shame, I know, but you brought this on yourself. Generous guy that I am, I've decided to let your business live on through me. Or at least your business assets. Can I see why you're always begging me to let you run the accounting side? You were playing this from the very beginning! <laughs> I, like, I like her little emote uh, there. <laughs> her shoulders. Watch you! Look, I don't have to listen to any more of your bullshit, okay? In fact, we're done. Right here, right now. You can't run a business to save your life. And you're far from wife materials. So consider yourself dumped. <laughs> you just got dumped. <laughs> all the all the men in this game are terrible except Kiryu, who's just a robot. <laughs> what? Just like that? After you put me all through all that, after all that you put me through, I should get edit. I mean, I trusted you. <laughs> yeah, well, save sub store for our hostess buddies. Maybe they'll offer you a show to cry on because we were already through a long time ago. So bomb my eyes, bimbo bitch. <laughs> Jesus. So anyway, I talk to a lady. Kiryu, son, you came. Uh, who the hell is this depressed looking motherfucker? <laughs> depressed! Depressed! No! I am not depressed, nor am I happy. This is just my regular face! I'm super pissed at all times. Let's just say I'm here to collect on Remy's capital. Hope you don't mind the intrusion. Uh, don't tell me you're one of Remy's customers, aren't you? At least, she, at least she knows how to turn a man on, but she's got you wrapped around a little finger, too. Keep talking like that and you'll be wrapped around a dumpster outside. <laughs> Yeah, I wrapped around your mom last night. That didn't work as well. Oh, is that a thread? Jeez, Ram, you really know how to choose them. You, you knew some kind of bodyguard or something? <laughs> it's kind of rock, you know. Bodyguard leaving here in a body bag. Hope they find one that fits. Yes! Oh, thank God. I get to destroy your office. I was so pissed when I, get to, I didn't get to do that last time. Oh, my God. I swear to God, it's the exact same office, too. Look at this. I. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> they, they rent this place out. Ah! When they come by, replace all the furniture that carrier destroys. Ah, yeah, kick that chicken hot. Kick that furniture. Wait, is this a window? I see an. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, I thought that little. Uh, I saw that little red uh, arrow. I thought that was like an indicator. Like, you could open the window. I was like, oh my god, can I throw this guy out a window? That'd be amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah! It's not Dragon Engine, but uh, it's good enough. Uh, uh. No, this is my stuff. I claim this. I want this to be destroyed. Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! 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 Uh, yeah! Uh. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Ah, ah, Remy, look what I can do. Look what I can do. Uh, ah, terrify. <laughs> oh my god. This is the best day ever. Ah, yeah. Woo! Ah, 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 ah. Come on, throw something at me. Come on. Uh, blah. Ah, it's a good day. All right. Ah. Have a seat, dickhead. Ah. Knock a breath the fucking window. Ah. Oh, I enjoyed that embellishing that shit. And the, everything's back now. <laughs> you okay? Where'd he go? <laughs> I did knock about the window. How can I be when I'm so utterly pathetic? I should have seen right through him. Oh, this was your fault. 
You're just trying to trust him, Raimi. That's what you do when you're in a relationship, right? So don't be too hard on yourself. Carry you, son. <laughs> well, I am starting to feel a little better, especially after seeing you beat the snot out of him. Yeah, I think that was just what I needed. <laughs> Me too. You know what else I need? What's that? You. I've had hearts set on you for a long time now. So, maybe we could spend a little private time together? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> let's destroy the furniture one more time with our ruckus lovemaking. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you're so cute when you're put on the spot. I love it. You know, I still have the <laughs> This guy's still alive. I got this over in this corner there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You know, I still am the number one host in Camarocho and Rapunga. So, consider yourself a lucky man. Oh, and by the way, I'm not taking no for an answer. No, I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Kiryu loves us as much as everybody. Oh my God, look. <sighs> I'm actually looking at her. You truly are the one for me. God damn. Every other girl who's just been lying, like hugged up against me, I'm just looking off into empty space. She's the first girl I'm actually looking down at. Damn. Damn. If that's not an indicator that this is truly the OTP, I don't know what is. Okay, so my heart's still pounding. <laughs> yeah. Mine too. Oh, can't wait to brag about this to everyone. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hey now. Hey, <laughs> come on, Keith, son. Do you really think I'd do that? Though the time you gave me is definitely worth bragging about, that's for sure. In all seriousness, no, I want to thank you for everything. Believe me, it's been a pleasure on my end too. Don't want to let you go just yet, but I've got business to rebuild. Hope you can understand. Of course. Be careful, okay? I will. Um, before I go, I still you don't know how much I love you, Keith, son. Oh my god, yeah! Holy shit! I should, I should let you know how much I love you, Kirsan. Here's all this experience! <laughs> wow. Oh my god, I got six times the usual experience. Fuck yeah. You are best girl. Let's go. Well, that's how you end a fucking series of sub stories. Oh, and with that, guys, we did it. We have done every hostess. That brings our sub stories up to a grand total of 103. We are really getting down in the nitty gritty. It's just like a, a bit over 110, I believe, uh, in this game in total. So, uh, yeah, we are getting there. We are getting there. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to get the last one, the Azure Dragon. Stay alive while in heat mode with the tireless strength of an Azure Dragon, which uh, definitely sounds uh, useful. Basically a second chance here. Ah, a wind god. Increased agility of quick step with the alacrity of the wind god. Cannot use while holding weapons. X to quick step when not in heat mode. Huh. That is super vague. <laughs> what, what does that mean? With the alacrity of a wind god? So, I just, I guess I just move up. I just move faster? Cannot use while holding a weapon. Maybe so. I guess we'll find out. Ah, feels good, guys. Kiryu had a lot of sex that day. A lot, a lot of sex. It is my gift to the world. That's just what daddy does. Oh, wait, wait. Here it is. The final picture. Sweet memories. Very much thanks for all day with you, Curious son I'll know we'll meet again soon. Thank you so much for everything. I'm so glad I met you. I love you, Curious son Give me that achievement. Come on, there's gotta be an achievement for this, right? Now? Oh, I'm shocked. I really thought there would be. But yes, okay, so all. The hostesses are complete. Look at that beautiful pink icon. Haha. -ha. So we only got two more revelations as well. Uh, 42 out of 70 of the Coliseum. I gotta get these coin lockers too. I probably have to use a guide to find the remaining keys because I feel like I've looked kind of everywhere. Sometimes you get some of these from like rewards for sub stories, but uh, I think I might just have missed in a few spots. Actually, you know what? Before we wrap this up, because I do think I, I want to kind of wrap the video up. I know, I know. I, th I said we were going to do fucking main story shit today, but this ended up taking a while. Uh, why don't I just go ahead and just collect the remaining keys that are in this city? Because, I mean, it really, it's just kind of free items, right? So let me see which, which ones I need, and then we'll see if I can't go find them real quick. What? What? I got an email from Kaoru Sari Sayama. Congratulations. Looks like you've romanced all the hostess. Bet you like all that attention, you playboy. Never would have pegged you for a fan of hostess clubs, though. Anyway, I have a gift for you. <gasps> Bob Utsumoya is holding on to it for you. So find him whenever when you want to pick it up. He's somewhere around town. Don't worry if you lose it. You can get 
Get it from him again? What? Also, who the fuck is this prayer person? <laughs> Congratulations on fucking all these ladies. Hi, you don't know me. Actually, it's probably a girl. You don't know me, but I've been watching you from afar. Now, this is ultimate, ultimate, super ultimate, ultimate girl that I got a romance. Babu Tamoya, dude, I've been looking for him all game. Is he, did he have to wait for this to happen for him to like suddenly like appear? If I had to guess, he's probably down in the bottom left corner because that's usually where he is. Before I do that, let me check what keys I need real fast. Oh, you want to hear something interesting? <laughs> Apparently there's one like literally right next. To oh my God, it is. It's right there. I've run by this so many times. What actually makes this one harder is the fact that I have to do this for some of these keys. The other games are usually just, they were just like lying on the ground. I could just walk up to them. The fact that I actually have to look around for some of these is actually what's making this, uh, this one a lot more difficult. Super resin. Yay. Let's go see Bob. Holy shit. And I'm, do I actually, I actually have complete, a uh, purpose to completing shit in this game. That's good. I was hoping he'd be here, but it seems like unlike the other games where he just kind of hangs around all the time, you have to, you have to actually like unlock him. Oh God, please leave me alone. Come on, man. There's Dante. Die Dante. We'll hang out later. Nice. Look for Bob. Looking for a clown in a very nice jacket. Oh, yep. I fucking see him. I definitely checked here before. He was just not here. So he just doesn't show up until you get like something totally completed. Hey, it's Bob. What you want to say, bitch? Hold on. Don't I know you from somewhere? How many people just like me have you seen strutting around? Hey, we have a present for you, bitch. The sender, some lady named Sayama. Lucky binding. Don't go losing it either, but if you do, I guess you can find him hard to look you up with another one. Ain't I a stand up guy? Boop, boop, boop. Were you standing over by Tenkai Ichi Street Gate? Something like two years back? Nope. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Bob is Utsumania uh, the third. Damn. It's a whole line and legacy of these dudes. So he just drops he just drops off items, huh? So it's not like you actually get like quote unquote completion points to spend on stuff. He just drops stuff off as I beat it. Gotcha. So what does this do? If I win a fight with this binding on, something lucky is supposed to happen. What? Oh, it's actually really good. Oh wait. Oh wait, no. No, it's not as, it's actually not as good as it's an armor and not an accessory. Shit. Something lucky is supposed to happen, huh? Do I just get like more money or something? Guess we try it out. Hey dude, never mind, I wanna fight you. I changed my mind. Hi again, Dante. Bye, Dante. Alright, let's do it, dude. Uh I love it. Watch some money. Real sorry about that. Anything? You just give me five kits, nothing. Uh ah oh, fuck, I'll look up and see what this thing does. Yeah, apparently it says it's supposed to increase how much money you get in street fights. I guess maybe it just has a chance of giving you better money. I didn't really... I mean, I got 5000 all right? That was a dick. But okay. I'll just keep it on for a bit and maybe I'll start making some money. Or maybe I get an increased experience as well. Yeah, it's not really clear, honestly. But it looks like you just get more money or have a chance to get more money. Or maybe you just get money every time because sometimes you get items. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to keep it on for the time being. All right, let's go ahead and get the remainder of the keys real quick. What the hell? I see it. It's in the corner there. How the fuck? Oh, wait. I can't actually see from that. Wow. That was a... No wonder I didn't come across that one. Holy shit. It's like out of sight. You only see from a distance. And then you just have to know it's there and come close to it. Fuck. I have no idea how I missed this one. I guess I just never came far enough down the street. Oh, man. This was really tucked in the corner. Is it a fucking trash can? God damn. Holy fuck. What, what's this? How am I reaching that? Good God. No wonder I never came across that one either. I swear, I, I at one point I remember coming down here and being like, I'm, I cannot believe there's not a key down here and looking everywhere. Again, not surprised I didn't see that one. That was really hard to notice. Slippery stamina morale. Now I'm still getting like random items too. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell this thing's supposed to do. There's another. Look at this. Charging. Charging. See, I can just take that shit. It hurts a lot, but I can take it. Go on, hit me. I like it. Ah. Ah, I feel so good. Ah. Ah. Ah, fuck, I missed. Damn, that was hard to see, too. I really like to stick them in these corners here. Jeez. You really just gotta know, just gotta know where to look. I feel like for some of these, 
Now it's starting to make sense why I've missed uh, missed out on so many of these. Up in the treetops. Hey, it's on top of the Christmas tree. Like a little star. Oh, there it is. Fuck. I knew I didn't find one in the batting cages before, but I was, again, I just, uh, just didn't see it. Up there. I got 30,000 that time. It's pretty good. Oh boy, there's another. Oh damn, that one was hard to see too. I actually checked behind this thing. But on the blue sky, especially during the daytime, that is quite hard to see. It really blends in. All right, that's the last one here in uh, Kamurocho. There's still a few I haven't gotten in Okinawa, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, oh, I actually have to unlock it before it counts up. Okay, what we got? Piss Mountain Stone, my favorite. Stamina on Spark. Gold-plated Capacitor. Another Stamina on Spark. Even Goro's Beads. Hmm. Oh, Lopsided Cigarette. Another gambling cheat item. Army Knife. Oh, that's a knife. Oh, this is actually a cheat item as well. Guarantees the next roll to be even in Chohan. That was an accessory. Mystery Stone. Blood Brooch. Got a few of those now. Glory of the Lotus Clan. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually a new technique. I think it might be. Or potentially something to uh, build weapons with. Another Stamina on Spark. Just can't get enough of those. Ornate Blade. And last but not least, White Lotus Comb. Looks like a regular regular comb at a glance, but it's actually a symbol of the White Lotus Clan's leader. I mean, the guy I fucking murdered? All right. That's all our Roach's lockers. So what does that bring us up to? Uh, 91. So there's nine more in uh, Okinawa that I've yet to get. So I'm guessing as you complete each of these is how you end up uh, basically unlocking stuff with uh, Bob, I, I guess. I go for the food and drink one then if I have some downtime. I can't use it here. It's actually a symbol of the White Lotus Clan's leader. What the hell do I use it for then? Is it a material? Uh, ornate blade? 108 attack with 35 durability. That is pretty good. Well, all right, guys. This seems like a good place to end things here for now. Ah, well, it feels good at least to have that done, right? The hostess are completely finished. I think all the side stuff that basically requires me to do a bunch of stuff before I get a sub story, I think that's pretty much done. I think now all I got to do is progress through the game, unlock the remaining sub stories, and we should be on course to uh, uh, fight Amon. Oh boy, I just can't wait. <laughs> God damn. I'm sure it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Probably all the more reason why I should probably try to start also uh, making some of these weapons over with uh, with Kamiyama because I think I'm probably going to need all the help I can get. But next time, guys, for real that time, this time, we will actually go through uh, some more of the main story. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please do a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.